Never forget that failure is a great teacher. When I first started this channel, I was still in a lot of pain. It all started with this concept, this idea that instead of focusing on my my injury, my, my bad ankles, and, and everything else that was adding up, it was all connected. It all fell apart at the central structure and the spine and strengthening that. As I learned, I made more videos. I continued to teach myself and strive more. You know, I'll never be Athlean X with abs. I'm always the guy, the average Joe, just like you, trying to get out of pain. Every time I get into a position, I feel off balance. I'm always striving for something more, I'm never quite content with what I have. I keep climbing that peak for every workout. I work on my spine. Find that place where you're unsteady. Make it uncomfortable. That's where you need to be if you want change to happen. That small amount of time where your body starts shaking and tremoring and you're uncomfortable is when you start to grow and adapt. It's not just preparing for a workout. It's not just preparing for a run when we bike, when we hike, it's for life. We need to make these movements routine. We need to integrate them. They need to become commonplace. I'm tired of being sick and tired. I'm tired of being in pain. I'm tired of not having enough energy. I remember what it was like not being able to give an adjustment without hurting myself to do it. To work on somebody's shoulder knowing that it was going to hurt my shoulder. Without going to the gym, without being swollen the next day, without playing frisbee without limping around the next day because I thought I couldn't do them anymore. I was just too old. The injury had taken its toll. The injury was a gift to do better, to find a way to repair. simply an awakening. My goal is to be the best person I can be. Energy with a strong spine. I don't want to have to baby my spine all the time. Sleep in perfect position. Not be able to relax the way I want to be about working hard and learning to move properly and functionally, creating new habits, being smarter and learning to know my body, address the sides that are weak, address the joints that are weak and need to be mobilized, to work with my chiropractor and not just be content with where I'm at. So it's not about how far I can run, or how much weight I can lift. There's so many bodybuilders and so many guys that are not so strong, or people that are so flexible will take it the other way, and doing yoga all the time. The spine is just not addressed, and we're just not taught how to use it and move right. As you can see, foundation training is not as graceful as yoga. You know, I'm constantly losing my balance. 
I'm constantly struggling to find that tension and hold it. I'm getting exhausted with just simple movements. And the ironic thing is the stronger I get, the stronger I strengthen my decompression system and my spine, the harder these movements are going to become because the more strength I've added to my spine, the more I'm able to take those restricted areas, those adhesed joints, and I'm able to pull them apart. I'm reversing decades of abuse. And then first I didn't want to post this video. I'm like, you're falling, you're off balance. You know, it doesn't look right. You're, you're tired from just having worked five hours at the office, standing the whole time. But that's what foundation training is. That's what strengthening the spine is all about. It, it throws you off balance. And, and, and no one is perfect when we get here. We're reaching different levels here which we're trying to push that spine every time we're not addressing one single muscle we're addressing a lot in one simple motion a lot of this stuff looks easy but it's really not and it shouldn't be it should be hard this is the most part important part of your workout is strengthening that spine and, and, and connecting your brain to those postural muscles that lengthen you and keep you strong. So if we go into a run or a workout and our dominant muscles are just taking over, that spine is just going to be abused. It's going to round to try to help us out. Here we're teaching it to work properly. I'm wearing it a postural shirt to enforce that run because the last thing I want is when I'm running the trails is my back to be rounded to help me so I can go a little farther but I'm just abusing my joints then I'm not really strengthening my spine I'm not hinging at the hips like I should be that's what I really want I don't want to increase my time make it faster I, I don't want to make that run without being completely exhausted. I want to get to that point where I am tired, but I want my whole body to be tired. I don't want to have to cheat. I always test myself after every run here. You can see I had to lose the posture shirt halfway. I was completely exhausted. I was going to have to have a heat stroke. I'm not used to the elevation, but I kept pushing. Always check yourself. It's good to stretch after. I noticed that I was really tight. I was off balance. My hamstrings were still pretty dominant. Maybe I wasn't running correctly. I wasn't hinging as good as I could have been. That's why we test after, see if we loosened up the right muscles, because if we're using our weak muscles, and we should be, we should feel like the foundation training exercises, these stretches, these functional movements are actually easier because we were moving right. It's all about getting us to move correctly. That's the end goal.